Welcome, this is Magic Dad 76 and we're bringing you to a new game series. Uh, it's a game I recently uh, picked up called Shadowrun Returns. Shadowrun is actually a game that holds a lot of sentimental value to me. It was an old uh, paper and pencil role-playing game that I used to play back in the 90s. Had a lot of the feel for the uh, 90s pen paper and pencil role-playing games. So, we're going to go ahead and get into this game. Uh, so... We're going to launch a campaign. We're going to go do it on normal. <clears throat> and we're going to get this started. So we got we got to make our character. If I make a male, I'm going to go with a human. Uh, we can do human, elf, dwarf, orc, or troll. Well, I'm not going to troll you guys, so I'm going to go with human. Because uh, in Shadowrun, it's a science uh, science fictiony fantasy type game world. It's a darker, uh, darker high tech future where magic has returned, and same with the mythological races. So now, basically, it's my class that I'm going to be choosing. We can do a street samurai, which is basically a mercenary or warrior for hire. Mage, Decker, which is a hacker. Shaman, it's uh, basically like a uh, druid. A rigger, it's like somebody that, uh, basically a gearhead. And physical adept is basically a combination of mage and street samurai in a way. So, I'm in a toss up between Decker and street samurai. I'm going to do Decker. Actually, no. No, I'm going to go with street samurai. I always played Deckers when I uh, played in the past. So I'm going to basically choose one of these facial templates uh, uh, to go based off of. And then uh, just uh, modify it from there. The closest one I would, to what I would go for is this one. So. Now we can customize it. So this is what my character is going to look like in game. I'm not going to go with... Okay, hairstyle. First off, i got to change the hairstyle. I do not like it. Nah. Okay, let's get a hairstyle I like first. No. No, God, no. This one. Let's see if I can find the same color. There we are. If I'm going to do beard and hair, it's going to be the same color. I don't like that beard style. <coughs> Uh, too much of oh, too much of uh, reminds me too much of Rasputin. I'll go with that one. So we get karma points. This is what how we uh, uh, affect things. Well, since we're going to be a street uh, decker. We need uh, intelligence to be higher. Whereas we uh, increased to four, so that now we're going to, we're going to be apt to or able with a gun and able with a deck. That's what I'm after. Unfortunately, our charisma is not the greatest, but hey. What can we say? Confirm. I'm going to go with street, actually, Shadowrunner etiquette. And we're going to name me MD. So, down and out. <coughs> 
your apartment, three o'clock in the morning. It's got four walls, a roof, and isn't on fire. Even the cockroaches have fled in search of better accommodations. Not exactly a runner's dream pad, but right now, it's about all you have left. Running the shadows is all about feast or famine. One day, you're Nova Hot, working jobs that will allow you to eat at five-star restaurants. The next, well, you're here. This one's a famine for the ages. Slagging fixer hasn't called. The money's run out and then some. Sinless and free. Free to starve in the cracks of a society run by megacorps who just want your union. Something needs to change, and soon. So, your apartment, 2054, it's 3 a.m. and you've got nowhere to go but down. Okay, let's look around. Your notebook, calendar, contacts, that kind of thing. Let's view my personal calendar. Empty, nothing to do. Awesome! The list is sad, dried up. Carter Detroit, fixer, no response to messages. Dowd, runner, dead. Felton Nash, fixer, missing since February. New Larry, runner, dead. Sam Watts, runner, probably in a gutter. Somewhere. Sagona, runner, dead. Half Jack, dealer, retired or dead. The list goes on either dead ends or just plain dead. So we're going to put down the notebook because that's really depressing. Oh, my vid phone's going off. I'm, I'll worry about that after. Slip a paper with your bank balance, enough to cover you through the end of the week. Awesome. Your computer, state of the art in 2050, broken since 2051. I guess we should answer this. Oh, Sam Watts, awesome. The screen leaps to life, making you squint against its brightness. The face on the screen is laughing. Sam Watts, hey buddy, hope I didn't catch you at a bad time. He go giggles. He's drunk again, or worse. So this is the cool thing, you get to choose your response to whoever you're talking to, and it will affect how the game plays out, so. Well, I'm going to be nice to him, he looks like he could use a friend. Where have you been Sam? I haven't heard from you in months. Another giggle. Oh, don't bother with your side of the conversation, I'm not really here. Just one reason for this vid, someone finally uh, geeked me. I'm dead. I probably had it coming. When you're an unsavory character like myself, you tend to associate with other unsavory characters who often partake in the unsa in unsavory business, like you, for example. So why am I dead? Who knows? Probably my fault. I wonder where you are right now. I bet you hit a big payday and you're living high on the hog somewhere. Some of us are born winners and some of us are... me. Hey, you remember that Renaraku run when things went to hell and we lost Dioud? Or that makeshift saloon on the docks afterwards? I really had your back that night, didn't I? Dowd. That's a name you haven't heard of in a long time. <clears throat> Three years ago, a makeshift bar on the Seattle docks. The night Dowd went down. <clears throat> Sagoma. Sagoma is an urban sh shaman who pro uh, proved her worth during a run against Fushi last fall. She's the quiet type, an experienced runner. We're out here in the open, MD. My respart response. I'm going to go. Our fixer owes us for the run and for Dowd. We wait. Your call. New Larry. You've been running with new Larry, Larry for about six months now. He's a combat mage with a bad tattoo and bad attitude. He knew Dowd almost as well as you did. Dowd. Never saw anybody die like that before. Idiot. He shakes his head. I hate this fragrant city. MD. It's wet and the rain feels like acid and I want out of here. 
We wait for the money. Yeah, sure, of course. I'll wait all night if I have to. I don't know, MD. Sam is a good guy and can hold his own in a fight. But he's been hitting the bottle pretty good lately. Never on a run so far. But he needs watching. He shakes his head. That run went sideways, nine ways to Sunday. Now the fixer's late. And we ask if he thinks that it smells funny to him. Hell yeah, it smells funny. Look where he's uh, set up the meeting. This was supposed to be a public place. Cut the dreck, Sam. We both know why da Dowd went down, and it wasn't the fixer or some other paranoid chip dream of yours. Sam smiles a toothy smile. I've been waiting for this all night. New Larry has something he wants to say, don't you, Larry? Go ahead and spill it. You were sloppy. He laughs. Sloppy? You think I was sloppy? You've been twitchy all day, son. Look at your hands. They're shaking. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to question him. Is that true, Sam? Did you miss a beat back there? No, MD. I didn't miss a beat. I was on my game like the, the whole time. Remember, I was on point. New Larry was supposed to cover Dowd. <clears throat> Something dawns on him. He leans into New Larry, amused and dangerous. We were set up, and he knows it. Don't you, Larry? What was that call you made before we hit Renraku? How come you couldn't geek that guy before you unloaded on Dowd? I've seen you fling a lightning bolt, son. He shouldn't have been burnt to toast. He should have been burnt to toast before his gun cleared the hull holster. New Larry checks his watch, licks his lips, looks over his shoulder in the, at the darkness. He's looking for someone, and it's not the fixer. Okay, I can see where this is going. You chummers are damaged. I'm out. And we question them. How much did they pay you to sell us out, Larry? He stops, and a smile slowly appears on his face. Honestly, it didn't take much. Just enough to get me back to Portland and set up with a Cush Corp job. I'm out of this racket. We got incoming! New Larry relaxes and throws you a drug eating grin. Looks like my new Renraku friends are finally here. They're going to take that hard drive off your corpse, buddy. We should choose our friends more carefully, MD. Buy you a drink after this? You'll owe me several. So the enemy gets their turn. Leave the mage, kill the others. Ow! Okay, it's turn-based combat. I don't need the help for it. But I'm going to unload on the very first. Two bullets. Oh! Took care of him. And now we're going to take care of him. Ah! Actually, no, we're doing okay overall. Another uh, corp down. Okay, he's out in the open. Oh, there's guys coming up from behind. I'm gonna run over here, get some behind some cover. I will get this guy that has 88. Okay, he's going to go down uh, right now. Yeah. Wow! Ah. Ow! That hurt. <laughs> Took care of that one. This is bad, dude. Got shaman. Okay, I'm wounded and I'm out of ammo, so we're going to re I'm going to reload. 
That's my turn. Where's the shaman? Okay, good. Let's see if I can take not enough ammo. Great. Out. Confirm. Line of sight. I don't want to use two turns, so. Because I want to try to take a shot. Good. Check out the shaman. Ow. Damn it. Missed him. And let's finish this off. <clears throat> Single. Seville lowers their gun, eyes on Sam. You okay, Sam? Sam's breathing is heavy and he looks shaken. That was a hell of a thing. Part of... I'm going to say he did good, because he did. He did good. You were born for this gig, MD. He, not so much. I think I'm going to hang it up. Find a nice nice brothel somewhere. Stay drunk until I croak. What about you? I'm going to find a safe house out of town. Lay low. We're not Rock, who has a long memory. I do, too. I don't forget my friends. So, oh, that was the background with Sam. Cool. That's kind of sad that he's dead then. You stare at Sam's face on your comm link. Shake off the memory. Focus. Had your back that night, didn't I? Now I'm asking myself, who would care if I die? Who would give a rat's ass? Better or worse, your name is at the top of the list. Maybe it's the only name on the list. So, I set up a dead man switch to send you this call. I got a hundred thousand new yen insurance policy, payable to you, or payable when you find it who creased me. Alive with conviction or in a body bag with justification, either works. Contact my law firm, Rogers, Mengert, McCain, when the job is done, they'll know what to do. He turns to his left, Chet. The camera swivels to show a well-dressed man sitting next to Sam. Pursuant to Mr. Watts' wishes. Roger, Mengert, and McCain has installed a secure, dedicated phone line, so you may contact us directly when the task is complete. We will then begin a verification process. Note that you must also be on a secure landline to access this number. We will not accept transmissions from comlinks or other devices. The camera swivels back to Sam. Sam straightens up, talks seriously, first time. Look, MD, I've led a direct life and I've probably left the direct corpse. I've hurt people. Hurt myself. I don't know. Maybe I just want the last word. Last word. Maybe I just want someone to give a crap that I suck for air for a while. What do you say? I'll get to the bottom of this. Someone will pay. I hope you just said yes. I've got a locator chip slotted in my head these days. If, when my heart stops, it'll activate. That's how you'll find me. See you on Slab. <clears throat> Rest in peace, Sam. See you in Seattle. <clears throat> so, I will read this one, and then we'll uh, I will leave the next uh, section for the next episode. The Dead Man Switch. Your plane hits the sea tarm uh, sea ta tack tarmac with a jolt. Welcome to Seattle. The chilly northwest rain obscures your vision as you step onto the tarmac. Before long, you're sitting in the cramped back seat of a cab, following the signal from Sam's locator chip into the heart of the Redmond Barrens. Organ grinders. A legal chop, a legal chop shop for body parts. Whether from the living or dead. If you're hurting bad enough for Nguyen, this is the place to sell a limb or an organ. It's also a good place to dispose of an inconvenient body while making a little cash on the side. This franchise is the closest thing in the Barrens has to a morgue. It seems this is where Sam Watts' body has ended up. You open the door, 
and are assaulted by the smell of death and bleach. Well, I'm going to leave it here. Uh, the game has saved for us. I'm going to leave it here at, for this episode, and hopefully you've, you're enjoying it. If you enjoyed this series, give it a thumbs up, and we will see you next time when Magic Dad plays Shadowrun's Return, Dead Man Switch.